Hey, welcome back. Thanks for watching. You've seen this a bunch of times probably, but I got several different pieces of wood all cut and split under different circumstances for different periods of time, and we're going to see what the moisture readings are. Hey, so you've seen this time and time again probably, but I'm going to do my version of it here and try to keep it short and sweet. We've got wood ranging from just split a couple weeks ago all the way up to 26 months ago from a tree, live tree that was uh, cut down 40 months ago. So I'm gonna be using this general uh, moisture meter uh, to do my testing and uh, we're just gonna get started. I'm gonna have a, a chart up in the top corner and you're gonna get to see uh, the chart get populated. So let's go. We have five samples here and we have what I'll call a control. So this is a very, very small piece, all red oak, by the way, this is all red oak. Um, we have a very small piece um, from what I'm calling the four uh, stack, and we'll use that as the control. So of course these have all been split, and I'll test on the split end near the center in both directions. Uh, so let's, uh, let's do it. So here's the control piece. This has been split, for 17 months from a tree that was cut down 36 months ago. Red oak. Holy cow. Seventeen percent. Are you seeing that? Wow. And that's a tiny, tiny piece. Wow, okay, well let's uh, go to the next one. Okay, so this next piece is from a tree that fell dead two months ago and was just cut uh, and split a couple of weeks ago. So we're at 25.9. Let's go the other way. 24.5. So, so that is wet. Okay, next we have a tree that was cut live 36 months ago and was split and stacked nine months ago. 21.3, 21.1. So that red oak is wet. All right, let's go to the next one here. So this was a dead tree that fell down 12 months ago that has also been split for nine months. 18.1, so no difference based on direction. So that's actually pretty dry. So now we're into wood from a tree that was cut down 36 months ago. This wood has been split and stacked for 17 months. 19%. percent 19.9, So that's actually still kind of wet. Okay, the next sample, this is also the same cut down 36 months ago from a live tree, split and stacked for 17 months. 22.8%. 22.7%. Let's try the other half of the same piece. 21.22%. So that is still kind of wet, unfortunately. Okay, so now, this is our last sample from the same grouping. Uh, cut down live 36 months ago and split and stacked for 17 months. 17.1. 18.2. Okay. So then our last set here is going to be... Um, 
the old, old stuff. So this should be the cream of the crop. This was cut down from a live tree in June of 2018. So 40 months ago, this was cut down from a live tree. It was split and stacked um, in July of 2019. So 26 months. This is 26 months, and we're on the inside edge. Yep, 26 months red oak. Fifteen. Uh, here we are. Fifteen point seven. Sixteen point two. Let's try the other half of this piece. Sixteen point one. Sixteen point five. So even that is kind of wet. So I just calibrated this at 18%. Uh, so everything's operating here. So someone says, hey, that red oak's been split and stacked for, you know, a year. It's it's good to go. The answer is no, man, it's not. Uh, it's, it's still going to be pretty wet. Now, the caveat there is if you're burning it in the outdoor fire pit, you're probably okay. If you're burning it in the... Um, in a new higher efficiency inside stove you probably have an issue uh, it'll burn but you're going to be making more i guess creosote and, and losing more energy than you you want so there you go that's my, my version on this video appreciate you watching all right tacking on here i did some more pieces so this is from the stack by the well, 20 and a half, doesn't get a lot of sun. This is from the stack down in the yard, does get sun. This is the sun side, and it was about uh, 16 and a half. This is a piece on the shade side of that same stack. It was about 15, but I, this was from the part, the small portion of it that I have covered. And then I just did two more pieces. This is the stack down by the pool, the April 2020 stack. Uncovered, but man, this stack gets a lot of sun. And they're at like 17, 18%. So, so far, it really looks like that portion that was covered just the top, covered with the tarp, that like really made a difference. Uh, man, and of course this stack over here that's in the shade all the time because the sun is like this you can see it now so it really never gets sun um that's the wettest uh wood of all